Jones, and uh, I have an appointment to see Mr. Frazier and Mr. Forrester. Would you two ladies have a seat over there, please? Wait just a moment, Miss Jones. Yes? Joe, send in the next girl, please. You can go in now. My name is uh, Gloria Jones, and uh, I saw your ad in the newspaper. Uh, I'm Jeff Forster. This is Danny Fraser. Hi. 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 We're uh, interviewing young ladies to join our staff at Snow Mountain Lodge in Heavenly Valley. Hey, you ever had any experience, Miss Jones? Some. No, and I, I mean at a winter resort. No, but I'm a quick learner. Oh, pardon. Uh, Mr. Fraser speaking. Oh, yes, yes, Mr. Brown, how are you? That uh, property looks pretty good. In fact, very, very good. Miss Jones, we've been getting a lot of calls. See, actually, we're looking for experienced people, and, and I... I uh, tell me, Miss Jones, what are your measurements? Uh, 36, 21, 36. Mr. Brown, I don't think there's much improvement necessary. The acreage is uh, very well developed. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. It's, uh, it's an important job. That's right, and you must like people. Oh, I do. I like people very much, especially men. Hey, can you dance? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Son of a gun. Jeff, I have a feeling just by looking at Miss Jones that we'll be able to find something for her to do. You can stop me. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> That's quite all right. Thank you. Th thank you. keeps up, we'll have more help than customers. But you can't just hire a girl because she's well put together. Jeff, it's all in my capable hands. Uh, that's what worries me. Look, you just inherited a lodge of the mountains, right? Right. A veritable gold mine. And you've hired the sharpest promotional brain of the business, me. Right? Wrong. All I inherited was a mortgage and a lodge I've never seen. Look, will you just relax and practice being a tycoon? But we hired everybody we needed over a week ago. Okay, so we have an alternate list in case of dropouts. Yeah, but a lot of these gals are going to be disappointed. Well, Jeff, you can't please them all. But think of the chosen few. A whole winter at Heavenly Valley. Skiing, dancing, girls, fireside. Girls, <laughs> girls, girls. We had a wild summer, but the summer is done, so let's go.
Mansions is ours. Lakeview Arms. Man, that's what I call living. <sighs> Any one of these places will do me. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> this place. Or in these directions, should be just up ahead. Gotta be better on the inside. Couldn't be any worse. Don't kid yourself. Let's take a look. Let's get some light in here. Now open up those curtains. What period are these valuable antiques? Really nowhere. <laughs> I thought I heard someone say something about swinginess. Be yeah, in my big mouth. A warm welcome to Freezeville. Yeah. I wonder how many ghosts turned this place down. <laughs> okay, okay. So it isn't what we thought it was going to be. You can say that again. Yeah. We can do one of two things. I know one. Watch. Start a bonfire. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, let's not fall apart. I think we can do something with this place. I guess it's worth yeah. a try. My room at home looks worse. Yeah, come on. It shouldn't be too bad if, if we all pitch in. All right, let's all right. go. Frankie, Bob, let's see what we can dig up to get this place in shape. Joe, Penny, Dee, get go. some dust pops. Anything you can find. How about some music while we work, huh?
at the same time tomorrow. Okay. Right. Right. Bye, Helen. See you later, Ralph. Yeah, it looks like you got yourself quite a class. You said it. Danny Fraser. It's Peter Brinkman. I just took over Snow Mountain Lodge as a ski instructor, and uh, I thought maybe I could help you out. I'll uh, give you a percentage if you let us use your facilities. You think you're good enough? <laughs> well, there's always a way to find out. When? You name it. Right now. Follow me. You got yourself a deal, Danny. Thank you, Mr. Brinkman. Okay, everybody, gather around. Jeff's gonna give you assignments for tomorrow. Come on, let's go, gather around. Now. Joe, you're in charge of the kitchen. I, don't, I can't cook. You're in charge anyway. <laughs> uh, Danny. Promotion? Right. And while you're at it, see what you can do about hiring a cook. A cook? Oh. 
<laughs> Jeff, I bet there isn't a cook for hire between here and Hong Kong. I think you'll dig one up somewhere. Now, let's see. Uh, Bob, you handle a bar. Well, are you sure you can trust a member of CA? CA? Cokes. Anonymous. Uh, oh, great. Uh, Penny, Jonesy, you handle the tables. Now, the rest of the gang will be up tomorrow. They'll get their assignments then. Oh, before you sack out, I want to thank you all for the great job you did today. I really appreciate it. Jonesy, baby, rendezvous 11 o'clock. Dress <laughs> optional. I just love intrigue. Uh, wait, 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 hold it a second. Come back here. Sleeping arrangements. Now, the girls' rooms are on the right, the men on the left. I don't want any fraternization on the second floor. Uh, that's right, Jeff. That goes for all you guys, especially you, Frankie. Me? <laughs> days have been pretty rough. I know. Maybe now you can take it easy. First, I gotta get this lodge in gear. But if business gets good, I'm gonna cut loose and have me a blast. A blast? Right. This is a great place to operate, you know. Is that what you want, to, to play the field? Why not? You have a better idea? <laughs> you might think about finding the right girl and settling down. some people, that's easy. For others, it's not so easy. It all depends on what a person's looking for. Well, that's just it. I don't know. Well, I think the girl that you need should be warm and loyal and affe affectionate. Oh, go on. This is uh, very interesting. Well, what I meant was that she shouldn't be clinging. And she should be able to adjust easily because you come up with some pretty harebrained schemes. And she should be fun and, and somewhat intelligent. And she shouldn't try and change you. Is that all? No, but it'll do for a start. Now, this gal you're talking about should have a name. How about Miss Ideal? Finding her won't be impossible. Well, I tell you what, Joe. If and when you run into her, me a call.
in trouble. Oh, <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Good, to <see. laughs> Good to see you again. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I sleepwalked, Jeff. No, honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, honest time work all bet oh no seriously i have it all figured if you use your head in this business you can save yourself a lot of toil promotion yep that's the name of the game Jonesy? Yes? Okay, now, you sure you know what to do? I think so. Okay. You ready? Uh-huh. like we're on our way, big fella. Quicker than I thought. Whatever Danny's doing, I hope he keeps it up. I'm glad I'm working days. I seem to uh, catch a little hidden meaning. Well, they tell me the nights up here are pretty cold. Well, I've never been taken for a foot warmer. But you might have a good idea. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Just remember, all work and no play makes a dull day or night.
Well, it's the place, all right. Looks like they're doing some business. Yeah, well, it's our job to see they do less. The door getting that burn it down. It is cool, and we'll play it by air. Here you are, Arlene. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hey, you run a wild pad here. We're trying. You have any rooms? Sure. Hey, how's the action? Want a double or a single? Oh, don't panic, man. We're just here for a little fun. We'll take a double. Fraggy, get the uh, gentleman's bags. Green coupe, white top. Right. Room 13. 13, my lucky number. That's a coincidence, my lucky number too. You have a bar here? Yeah. Coke bar. Coke bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Yeah. Uh, you must be a cook. Yeah. Hey, you want a better job? <laughs> no. You've come to the right place. I'm sure I am. Uh, we have weekly rates. It's cheaper that way. That's cute, but I don't think it would be necessary. There she goes again. So what? I want a room with a shower and a bath, and uh, I don't know what they want. Uh, well, you see, we're, uh, we're kind of running a hostel here. Uh, you'll probably have to double up. That'll be cozy. Uh, no, I, I mean, you and your girlfriend. Oh. <clears throat> Our luggage is in the car. Oh, okay. uh, Frankie, uh, would you help with the luggage? Sure thing. Roger, be a good boy and show them what to bring in. Yes, so am I here. It's a gassy place. Yeah, now you know why Jordan wants it. So why didn't he just buy it? We offered it to him. This guy Forrester wouldn't sell for sentimental reasons. Well, it's a lucky thing for Jordan. He owns the note. It's due sometime next week. And with us here, they'll never meet it. Well, it's uh, sort of rustic, but uh, I hope you enjoy it. Well, I'm sure I will. With your help. Well, I'll try. I can hardly wait. Well, well, if it isn't the poor little rich girl. Slumming? Not until now. I want to talk to you. We have nothing to discuss. 
Everything was so great between us. Then suddenly you took off. Why? Even if I tried to explain, I don't think you'd understand. Try me. You're lacking. In what? Kindness, for one thing. <laughs> Girls, I want you to meet Charlie, the new cook. Oh, Charlie. I'm so happy to meet you. Hi, Charlie. So glad you're here, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. Come on, Charlie, do a little shepherd. <laughs> That cook is just too much. I knew you'd like him. I'll see you later. Right. Hey, Danny. Hey, Noonie, how are you? Fine, how you been? How you doing? Okay. You think we can borrow the girls for a few minutes just to run through the number? Sure, sure. Hey, girls, come on. Noonie and Ricky wants to run through the number. Help them out. Okay. One, two, three, do the ski with me. Hey, 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 now. Get down. Come on, let's go. Come on, baby. To the top of the mountain. Hold it to the left. All covered with snow. Hold it to the right. If there's a bump, oh. you gotta jump. Whee! Do the ski with me. It's easy as one, two, three. Do the ski with me. Ooh, do the ski with me. Oh, come on, do the ski with me. Yeah, do the ski with me. Whee! It's still pretty rough, girls. Can we go through it again in about ten minutes? Okay. <laughs> Really goofed last night. Now, how did I know Jeff was going to have an alarm rigged? Well, uh, don't forget your promise about my uh, skiing lessons. Well, I won't. Don't forget yours. Not a chance. Just the girl I want to see. What you doing later tonight? Ah, uh, gee, Frankie, I wish you would have asked me earlier. The cold chill of frost, shimmer and moonlight on the snow. Oh, but I've got a date. When will a guy realize that a break is final and complete? It's hard for some people to get the message. Well, no is no in any of five different languages. Well, first you've got to believe it yourself. Roger! Now, well, what can I do for you now? Oh, he's yummy. If you like that type. And I do. Kind of rugged innocence, eh, hey, Roger? Uh, isn't he? I'll catch up with you later. And another one bites the dust. Uh, who's the instructor? Uh, I, you're looking at him. You think you can teach me anything? Uh, it depends on what you have in mind. <laughs> Skiing, of course. Oh. Uh, 
When can I have my first lesson? Uh, well, classes begin for, for beginners at 10.30 and at 1.30. But I want to take private lessons. Do you think we could start now? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's see, to start with, why don't we cruise down this little slope here? I don't want to ski there. Why don't you take me up there? I think that's a little too tough for you. Looks easy to me. Where would you like the piece of sand? Uh, coming, teacher. seriously considering that, are you? Well, it looks like as you go through those little sticks. You're beautiful. Really? Follow me. Why didn't you tell me you could ski? You didn't ask. Where'd you learn all that? Austria, Kitzbühel, Greenland. I get around. You sure do. Two cokes, Bobby. For me. You're running over, oh. Bobby. Well, you know, that Jonesy is just too much, man. It turns me upside down. Down, boy. It's a long winter. <laughs> yeah, don't I know it. One without, Bobby. Well, I'll take one with. Oh, you'll get one without. Yeah. And without what? Cream, silly. <laughs> boy, I'm sure Garland heard it. Penny is just, just great. I thought you were nuts about Jonesy. Yeah, I am. And the Dee Dee and the Joe. <laughs> I think you're sick. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sick in the right way. Uh oh, I'm getting sicker. What was that all about? A little private joke. 
I hate being left out of anything. You never have to worry about that, do you? Well, there have been times. Maybe you've never met a girl who knows what she wants and knows how to get it. Maybe. Does it make you a little insecure knowing that I'm interested? Not particularly. That's nice. Will I see you tonight? I work here. That's uh, not what I meant. Where did you get your training in uh, this direct approach? Austria, Zermatt in Switzerland, and Paris. Paris? Pretty good references. The best? Maybe, uh, maybe I'll check them out. With pleasure, monsieur. Maybe I'll uh, check them out. With pleasure, monsieur. Did you hear that? I don't think you really meant it. Dreamer. All right, girls, line up. Come on, step to it. Troops ready for inspection. Troops ready for inspection, sir. Carry on, sir. Mm -hmm. To reinspect you later. I'll be ready. Some people have all the luck. Charlie, relax. Now we're to Mark Manning, officer. Men? Men? Oh, girls, uh, look, there's, uh, there's gonna be a full house tonight, so let's keep them fed and keep them happy. Yeah. Dismissed. Take a break tonight? Does it matter? What's wrong? Keep him fed and keep him happy. Aren't you overdoing it? Oh, look, I... Charlie, what's with these women? Thank you very much. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to feature Miss Joni Lyman. This is her latest Cold Picks recording, King of the Mountain. King of the Mountain, your top man in town. So far above me, you never look down. Out on a ski trail, I watch you each day. Wondering when you'll look my way, but you love your mountain much better. Than me, just as in summer when you love the sea, king of the mountain. What can I do? I must wait for you. is 
for table four. The other's for Jonesy. What's the matter, Joe? You in a gray mood. You said it. Couldn't guess what it's all about. It makes me so mad to see men make fools of themselves or some phony, sophisticated female. They're all alike. All you have to say is I've been to Europe and all the guys turned to jelly. Oh, Charlie. Why can't they all be like you, the strong, silent type? I guess there isn't any way to fight it. You just have to ride with the punches. Ride with the punches, my eye. Just because she's been to Paris. I could go, too, if I had the money. Hey, that's not a bad idea. What are you talking about? The French type they like, the French type they get. Hi, I'm uh, Danny Fraser. I'm Jeff Forster. And uh, y y you're? My name is Claudine. And uh, I have come for the dinner. Oh, yes, right this way. We have a nice little table here, right here. Please sit down. Um, allow me to order for you. With pleasure. Uh, we specialize in... Uh... I like that very much. And uh, wine? Wine? Yeah. Oh, wine, wine, of course. The wine should be uh, dry and light. We don't serve wine. Only Cokes. The Cokes should be dry and light? Oh, men of thanks. Torpedoed by a French pastry. The closest she's ever been to anything French is salad dressing. Haven't you got something more important to do? I sure do, Jeff. Right here. Danny, uh, huh? you want it on the phone. Oh, it could be. I, th I think you better see to it. Uh, they'll call back. But if it is for you, you must be. No, I get these calls all the time. <laughs> oh! As I was saying, Mr. Frazier, you want it on the phone. I'll be right back. Claudine. It's a nice name. Thank you very much. So, uh, you like the French girls, huh? Well, I, uh, I don't really know. I think they might be a little too sexy for me. A little too worldly. You see, I'm just an ordinary kind of a guy, and... But I thought you liked me. Well, don't get me wrong. I think you're great. It's just that I know the kind of gal I want. One who will understand me and help me, one who adjusts easily, but won't crowd me too much. Had enough, or shall I go on? I don't know what you mean. Joe, that was an Academy Award performance. Well, if you knew, what'd you let me go on with it for? Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know I wouldn't hurt you, Joe. You proved your point. But I wasn't trying to prove anything. Miss Ideal, remember? I'm beginning to get the full picture. Hey, how's like Newney Rick at four, huh? I got a great surprise for you, gang. I'm gonna sing a song. <laughs> I just kidding. But uh, visiting our lodge tonight is a great singing group called The Reflections, and maybe with a little coaxing, we can get them up here to sing, huh? How about it? I'm sweet on you, sweet, sweet on you. 
life's sweet on you Like popsicles in the summertime Like peppermint in the wintertime Whoa, whoa, I'm sweet Oh, I'm sweet on you To a little boy, your love has brought me joy. Whoa, whoa, I'm sweet. Whoa, I'm sweet on you. matter if I did? Look, there are lots of other tables around here. Why don't you and your friend find one? Well, that doesn't sound very hospitable. I thought that unfriendly to say the least. Whoops. That Sorry. was really smart. Better dry out. You'll catch cold or something. Seems to be an empty chair. Nice friends you have. Now, what's that supposed to mean? Those guys over at Janine's table? In the first place, are not friends. They're clientele, same as you. Sorry to hear you need money that bad. Hey, you got something to say? Say it. If you'd spend more time serving your clientele and less time playing with them, you'd know what I'm talking about. All right, Roger, what's your problem? That joker over there just gave me a Coke bath so he and his chum could take over. Take it easy, Jeff. Don't worry. Well, well, a visit from the management. Another evening spoiled. They bothering you? I didn't even know they were here. Oh, I'd ask you to join us, but it doesn't seem to be room. I think it's about time we had a talk. Oh, speak up. You caught me a good time. No, no, a private talk. Go ahead, man. We have nothing to hide these nice young ladies. The floor is yours. We said private. Now, we're not going to ask you again. OK, you're the boss. Raggy, get their bags. If you're looking for trouble, find it somewhere else. Well, who's looking for trouble? Just trying to have some fun. Well, we don't like your idea of fun. Man, you get the idea we're being pushed? Yeah, I don't like it. Now take off. We don't? You heard the man take off. Okay, pal. You're the boss. Yeah, 
I said before, we're fresh out of accommodations. That's the end of that. I wouldn't count on it. Maybe you better call the sheriff. We can handle it ourselves. Jeff, promise me you'll take care of yourself, please. I'm sure gonna try. You okay, Ben? Yeah, Bobby, give me a towel, will you? Marvelous, the way you handle those two. I was very impressed. Yeah, that's me, old Tuffy. I always wanted to protect her. Let me know when you want someone rubbed out. You have no idea how rude they were. Jenny, why don't you drop it? Drop what? The act. You know you got everything going for you? You're pretty. You got a great figure. Why don't you just be yourself? I think you'd do fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you've had your sights set on every guy that walks in here. First Jeff and now me. Maybe you get your kicks turning guys on. I don't know, but, but I think you're running from something. Or someone. I still don't know what you mean. Well, then you think about it. Why don't you stay and buy me a drink? Maybe some other time. Oh, well, Mr. Jordan, this is Bert. Yeah, Bert, what's going on up there? Hey, these guys are no pushover, Mr. Jordan. Look, kid, I don't want excuses. I want that large. Now, if you can't handle it, I'll send someone who can. Oh, no, no, no. We can take care of it. All right. See that you do. Well, what do you say? She says, bury him. We will tomorrow on the slopes. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. What are you talking about? That Janine. I was only talking to her. You didn't seem too unhappy. Come here. I have it all set up for tonight. I thought you'd be taking lessons from Miss Tourist. Oh, come on. I'm not interested in her. You have a deal, remember? Okay, if you still want to. I do. See you later. Oh, right there. Now, don't move. Now, turn around and hold out your arms and close your eyes and I'll give you something to make you wise. What? Me! Oh, come on, Frank. No, exactly. Tonight, the village. Dancing. More dancing. You and I. Perfect picture. I've already made plans, Frankie. Better luck next time. Strike two. Hi, Frankie. Oh, hi, hey, Dory. I really dig that sweater you're wearing. You do? Mm-hmm. I just love men's sweaters. Better than women's. Where'd you get it? Oh, it was a, a Christmas gift.
hope you all got plenty of sleep last night, because you're going to need it. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, for the first lesson, what I want you to do is lean forward as far as possible on your skis. Now lean forward. Don't be afraid. That's it, lean real full. Again. Hey, that was very good, class. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Jeff, what do you think? Things shaped up pretty well, huh? Better than I ever thought. You know, if business keeps up this way, you'll make more than enough to pay off that note. And maybe a few pennies to spare for the piggy bank. <laughs> What'd I tell you, huh? Saluta! Saluta! <laughs> Put him over here and take the weight off his leg. I'm surprised no one else got hurt. Those, those guys forced me off the side of the slope. What, what guys? The same two guys you had a fight with. Hey, they wiped me out, too. And I'm on a vacation. I don't need any rumbles. Well, I hope it's not broken. Frankie? Yeah. Uh, take him upstairs. We'll call a doctor. Watch his knee. What's the matter with those guys? They must be nuts. We gotta find a way to stop them. You're the clever one. I wish I could get Danny to make a move. I think you've got it switched. Try and keep him from making a move. He's all over the place. Maybe you're right. But his roving is an endearing feature. Maybe it's the challenge I like. Yeah. Um, trouble just walked in. Well, if it isn't two of the sharpest girls this side of the mountain. And here they sit, all alone. We like it that way. Hey, hey, service over here. Yeah, I want to buy these lovely ladies yeah, a drink. Service oh, over here. Oh, I have now? better things have to do. Excuse me. I'm watching you. Doing oh, a good time, huh? With you? Well, you guys uh, just don't give up, do you? What do you mean? You know what I mean. <laughs> you know, you guys are really something. Why don't you take off while you can still walk? Oh, you talk big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we still owe you something. And we pay our debts. No, no, you don't owe us a thing. Oh, but we do. Okay, wise guy. In the time and the place. How about tomorrow on the slopes, huh? All right. It's tonight. You're sure? I've never been as sure about anything in my whole life. Oh, I've heard that one before. No, no, it's Benny Scout's honor. I'll stake my life on it. All right. Remember, this was all your idea. It's a clever one, too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tonight. Benny, baby. Hey, I got the greatest guy for you. You won't believe it. You don't say. But I do. Honest, you gotta meet this guy. What's his name? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm booked. Hey, but just a minute. I'm free tonight, Penny. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Dory. How about you and me doing some skiing? The way my luck's running, I'd break both my legs. Two cokes, Bob. Sure. Well, things can't be that bad, Frankie boy. Says who? Hey, what's he new, pal? I'm the biggest strikeout artist going. A little trouble with the opposite sex? I should be so lucky. I asked three girls out, not, not one. Three. And all three turned me down. Oh, now, you can't let that get to you. Danny's right. It's like anything else. Defeat shows. Hey, take my advice. Think positive. You've got a lot to offer any girl. Yeah, you're darn right. They should be glad you even asked them. Take a look at yourself. What do you see? A yeah. man who's virile and strong. Yet with the capacity for great tenderness. Brave. With the ability to be suave and gallant. A man of foresight, intelligence. Yet, yet sympathetic. A leader. Hey, am I really like that? Darn right. And any gal that doesn't think so isn't worth your time or trouble. Do you remember that, Frankie? Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, fellas. <laughs> yeah. 
say, uh, Joe, uh, perhaps we could hold a small tea to tea in private. Speak up, Frankie. Charlie won't interrupt you. Well, it... Well, it's, uh... It's like this. I dig, you see? And I think we could make wild music together, dig? I can't say as I do. No, no, no you gotta give it a chance to grow, doll. You gotta... You gotta ease into it, so to speak. Why, we're a duo, a twosome, a solid pair all the way. Now, why didn't I think of it before? The wildest guy, the skizziest skirt, the king and queen of hearts. Why, it's beautiful. Hey, Joe. <laughs> you see what I mean, Charlie? You see how you see how Won't you ski your city where the snow and the ice Cover the ground for miles around We're going to ski your city on a holiday Asking each snowman to show you the way Show you the way Ski your city USA Ski your city We're on our way Ski your city In the snow Ski your city Come on, let's go Where all the girls are out of this world And won't you want to look around You want to stay there and never come down Never come down Be a city USA Be a city We're on our way Be a city Wish I could help. So do I. Make it a double, kid. Double what? Anything hard. Sorry, can't happen here. Nothing but uh, cocoa and coke. Cocoa and cokes? All right, give me a tall one. Say, you're the first bit of class I've seen in this joint. How about uh, joining me for a little drink? No, thank you. Ah, oh, come on, sweetheart. Be friendly. Hey, uh, mister, I think you got the wrong idea about this place. Now, be a good boy, sonny. Get back your soda fountain. Come on, sweetheart, a little Coca-Cola. Mister, I don't mean to bother you, but I think we... Hey. You're so big and strong. Really? Hey, Frankie. You were just great. What did I do? Well, you grabbed him and wham, wham. He never knew what hit him. I did? If I wasn't a member of the working class, I sure could languish in a spot like this. Don't say my hairbrush, Dee Dee. I figured that I have five usable hours and I'm going to make the most of them. Speaking of that, have you watched The Tiger? You mean Janine? No, she set a man trap and she's out to get anything she can with pants on. Yeah, but uh, can she do the jerk, huh? <laughs> I don't know, but she's doing something we're not doing. Speak for yourself. I've got Bob sewed up. 
Oh, you kids are in the minors. Me, I'll take Jack. Oh, who wouldn't? But Joe's got him hooked. There's always Danny. You mean Danny the night owl? Not you, too. Yep, me too. Oh, no, not Danny. As long as we dress for a while, we'll go down and have a hip square dance. Yeah! show don't worry they'll make it hey boss man glad to see you made it make your play head to head clown each other. I can't watch this any longer.
close. You're telling me. Look, Jeff, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to go that far. See, Jordan hired us to wreck your business. Jordan? Takes all kinds, huh? That seemed like easy money, so... Well, anyway, I'm sorry. Fortunately, nobody was hurt. Forget it. I didn't see you after that uh, disagreement on the slope. I didn't stay for it. I don't get my kicks that way. Wait a second. Joe, what's bothering you? If you want to kill yourself, go ahead. But don't expect me to stand around and watch you. Take it easy. It wasn't that important. It was important to me. Look, Joe, you know me. You know how I am. I remember what I said about Miss Ideal, that she shouldn't try and change you. But I was wrong. Well, what are you so upset about? Because I love you, that's why. I know it isn't sophisticated to say so, but there it is, and I'm stuck with it. Well, either tell me to get lost or do something. Uh, attention, everybody. I uh, have a little announcement to make. Okay. Seems like there's going to be a little wedding in the old lodge. And you're all invited. Well, well, who's getting married? Oh, I almost forgot. Joe talked me into it. Oh. Oh. The coats are on me. Well, well, dark cloud just blew in, eh? Showdown time. Well, it was bound to happen. I'd like to join you on this one. Be my guest. I'll be right back. I thought you'd be paying a visit. You thought right, kid. I just came in for some cash. I hope you got it. Well, I'll see what I can do for you. Right this way. Playing both sides of the fence can be pretty dangerous, baby. People get caught in the middle and get hurt. Well, I like it better that way. You know, more action. You're fooling with the wrong guy. I owe you nothing. Here you are. You're a lucky kid. Just see that it holds. Let me worry about that. Jordan, remember what I just said? I didn't owe you anything? Uh. Gee, I was wrong. Because I do. Come on, Joy. You're going to be late for your own wedding. She's nervous. <laughs>
I guess I do. I mean, I just get all goosebumps. Don't you? Yeah, so do I. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together to join this man and this woman in the bonds of holy matrimony. Jeff Forrester, do you take Joanne Wallace to be your lawful wedded wife, to have and to hold, to love her and to cherish her, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, until death do you part? I do. And do you, Joanne Wallace, take Jeff Forrester to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love him and to cherish him, in sickness and in health, for richer or for poorer, until death do you part? I do. May I have the ring, please? Place the ring on your finger and repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you man and wife, and what God hath joined together, let no man split asunder. You may kiss the bride.